that's incredibly hard because I, I loved so many places. I loved being in Finland. I was only in Finland for two days in the snow and I longed to go back there. You know, Morocco was special in it, its own way. Um, I especially, unlike Stellan Skarsgård, who hated it, I really loved being in the Alps. That was so beautiful to be in the Alps in springtime. It was very beautiful indeed. So um, probably if I had to pick one place, it would be that one. I think the hardest thing for me was we were shooting nights in the Alps and uh, we had to shoot the sequence where Stellan gets on a helicopter. And as the sun came up at dawn, we were airlifting our equipment off the mountain. We then drove to Marseille and we got a flight to Marrakesh, where we arrived in Marrakesh at one in the morning and the first assistant director said, right, we're going out to a recce a new location. We've just lost a restaurant. And all I wanted to do was crawl into bed. And uh, I just had to keep my energy up and, um, you know, just stay shooting nights for, I think, the next seven days or something. So it was very physically demanding as a shoot. But the adrenaline kept us going because we had such an amazing team of people working on it. Feature films are different from television in that you have more time, more time to prepare. Um, it doesn't always feel like you have a lot of time on the day because the machine gets bigger and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, some, it's like driving a big ocean liner. It's kind of slower to make turns, whereas if you've got a smaller crew somehow, you can be a bit more nimble sometimes. Um, but basically the skills are the same. It's about getting the best performances out of actors and uh, good storytelling. So actually in the day-to-day -day running of my job, it's not really that different. Ewan has the most wonderful everyman quality. He's the boy next door, or the boy we'd all like to have living next door, I think. And uh, he did a brave thing in this film, playing a character who's quite weak at the beginning of the movie, feeling threatened by his wife, who has to go on a journey to figure out who he is. And he learns that from the incredibly charismatic Dima, played by Stellan Skarsgård, who's big and loud and funny um, and capable of great violence, although as a family man, he's incredibly warm. And so Stellan teaches Ewan's character a lot about life. And then Naomi is a successful barrister who, um, who's going through a difficult time in her marriage. And so she goes on a, a journey too. Um, very beautiful, very lov lovely, lovely to work with. They all were. I've, I've done a lot of different types of work in my career and I think what always drives me is great material, whether that is Tom Stoppard writing Parade's End or David Simon writing Generation Kill, Emma Thompson writing Nanny McPhee and the Big Bang, or in this case, you know, Hussein Amini adapting a fantastic book by John le Carre. So it's, it's always the material that, that drives me, that and the opportunity to work with great acting talent. I met uh, David Cornwall, aka John le Carre, early on um, when I was in talks about making the movie. And that it wasn't just him, in fact, it was his whole family who were involved. Two of his sons were producers on the movie, along with Gail Egan, um, who'd produced The Constant Gardener. So his family were around at every stage of the process. Um, and great to have all those very intelligent minds on board. You know, every actor's different. Some people want a lot of engagement. Other people come with ideas fully formed. And, and Damien had quite clear ideas on how he wanted to play Hector. And uh, in that kind of case, I think part of my job as a director is being like someone, a sound engineer, modulating levels. So if I felt like there was a false note from him, I'd step in and adjust it. Um, but I really liked what what... Damien was offering up. Whereas Stellan and I, we'd try lots of different things in the day. You know, we'd try it one way, we'd try it another way. Um, but 
Damien was very sure of, of how he saw Hector, and that was working. So I thought, well, it's not broken. I'm not going to mend it. You know, and it, it's so great on something like this to see actors raising each other's game and people at the top of their game bouncing off each other. That was that was one of the really thrilling aspects of this movie. There's a very lovely scene, which actually is something we improvise, that um, it's a moment when Stellan has to go. He thinks he's going to die that day. He's signing over the accounts, and it's the moment the Mafia are threatening to kill him. And there's a moment between him and his wife, played by Saskia Reeves, that's something that three of us just cooked up that morning on the shoot. And I think that's a very beautiful moment. And, and at the heart of this particular Le Carre, which is... As well as all the thrills and spills, it's a very emotional piece of storytelling, if I've done my job right.